this place is a mess. It's time to clean up. Leah and I are back from our 3,000 mile road trip. The first maiden voyage, long trip maiden voyage. And actually everything held up pretty well, but the bus is a mess and we have to clean it up. I wanted to do kind of a little spring cleaning thing. Today's the first day that it actually feels like spring here in Pennsylvania. It's like 70 degrees. Let's get to work. It's time to get these bed sheets off, get them nice and clean. Clean sheets are always the best. I kind of just left all of my clothes, not all of them, but I left a bunch of my clothes up here. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to go through all this and wash all this stuff. Ugh. I hate cleaning, man. I hate it. It's the worst. These stowed away, these child locks worked really, really, really well while we were traveling. Um, I have to put child locks on some of these other drawers that I didn't put them on because those were the only ones flinging out. Otherwise, all the other drawers were pretty good the entire trip. A big, big, big recommendation for using child locks on your drawers in your schoolie van, whatever it might be. It's raining. I mean, you can't really see it, but it's spring. <laughs> it's definitely spring. It's about a week later because the weather here in Pennsylvania reverted right back to winter after I filmed that last clip. Until this week, it's been really nice out and today is no exception to that. As you can tell, I'm in some spring attire. So we're gonna get back to spring cleaning. The sheets are clean, so I just have to make the bed. I just put them on yesterday. My goal is by the end of this video to have a full transformation of the bus. We love a fresh and clean bed. Check her out. Looks great. Also, I got this alarm clock. It keeps me off my phone first thing in the morning because I used to roll over, turn my alarm off on my phone, and then grab my phone and start scrolling aimlessly, and I'd get sucked into it. And now, my alarm wakes me up, I get up, I start my morning routine, I don't look at my phone for a while, and we're much more productive. And it uh, kind of keeps my mind a little more clear throughout the day. It's been good. Let's get into the rest of the cleaning. I think I'm gonna work my way from the bedroom to the front of the bus, and the first thing to do the sink is really disgusting. I'm gonna wipe out the whole sink basin, wipe down the faucet and everything. Stove and oven looking real nice and clean. Sparkly black and silver once again. On to the next. That is one nice and clean counter. We have a trash here, which was pretty much full. But we have some other things to throw away. One of them being the oranges that Leah and I picked. We didn't get around to eating all of them in time, so they're a little bit gone bad at this point. Toss all this out. Uh, I'm glad that I finished this inside of the drawer with that polycrylic finish so it's washable because, well, we have a bit of a mess in here. Nothing too bad. These cookies keep uh, getting my way, so I feel like I have to dispose of them in some way. Mm -hmm. Next on the list we have the bench, the lounge, which fortunately most of it is actually just my computer and camera gear, so I just can just throw it right back into my backpack where I store everything. I think honestly what we're missing are the tunes. That's like rule number one of cleaning, play tunes, right? So. Here we go, let's play something. Oh no, why did no one tell me? I, ruin I hope that's not actually ruined, and my pants too. I'm gonna go throw these in the wash like ASAP Rocky. I can't afford to get my nice clothes. Yes, before I die is my nice clothes, which by the way, is 40% off everything store-wide. It's gonna be linked in the description. Uh, the clothes are awesome, I love them. I just want to restock with some new designs. Help me out, get everything gone. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash this because that wasn't even a planned placement. This is like actually my favorite crew neck I own. Um, so I'm gonna go put this in the wash immediately and hope that comes out. It also got on my pants. I don't even know what that is. We're back with some clothes that are already scuffed. This is pretty gross. This has a lot of like salt and dust and everything on it. Another thing checked off the list. 
back to its natural full on black. Could it be where I'll do the love? Maybe I'm just a the rug fool. is all clean. The floor is all vacuumed, but it's not completely clean. I'm gonna take a rag, a wet rag, to the whole floor and kind of get off all of the nitty gritty, make sure it's sparkly clean. And at the same time, I'm also gonna do all of the drawers, but then we'll be pretty much done with this portion. And then we're on to the really gross portion, which I still don't wanna talk about. You came in with your head high, I didn't know what to say. God, just such a wild life. Okay, next up we have the fridge. Uh, it definitely needs some cleaning, cause first of all, my vanilla broke open in there and spilled everywhere. We have a bunch of crap all over the drawers. So this bad boy's gonna get a cleaning now. That milk is definitely bad. I'm just a fool for love. And you think you're too cool for love. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's looking good. You honestly might not be able to tell on camera, but it looks a thousand times better and more clean in here. And I'm loving it. That's pretty much all of it except for the two things I don't want to do. All right, I'm gonna do the one that's not so bad first, the gray water tank. We just have to empty it and then we're gonna rinse it all out and get it nice and clean. Uh, there's a bunch of caked on stuff. It looks like we have a little bit of mold. Let's get to it. At least it's finally warm enough and nice enough out to play with the water out here without getting completely freezing. I'm gonna put a little bit of white vinegar in there too and swish it around. I can't get it off these top corners and this side kind of, but the rest is coming off pretty nicely. All right, so I have this brush now. I'm gonna try and just scrape off some stuff. way cleaner than it ever was uh, in the last few months, honestly, probably since Christmas. All right, we're gonna let this sit out. We're gonna move on to the really gross one. Uh, I'm just gonna empty the, the liquid, the urine waste, uh, and clean that out because it's like really caked up with old disgusting urine, which I know is absolutely disgusting. I'm sure you guys don't wanna hear that, but hey, that's the reality of this, uh, this life. <laughs> We're gonna use vinegar, white vinegar, and Dawn dish soap to try and get this nice and loose because there's a 0% chance that I am gonna scrub the inside of that pee tank. I swear I'm not doing it. The last time I emptied the urine tank, uh, I was dry heaving the whole time because it smells so bad. All right, this might be a little extra. Say it's extra, call me whatever you want. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a mask so I don't have to smell it. And I'm gonna use gloves so I don't have to touch it. Let's do it. The pee container came with this cap to put over top to carry it in places and dump it in like a toilet or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna use this cap so I can swish it around really good in there because I don't think it's gonna come off uh, any other way, honestly. It's coming off a bit, but not as much as I'd like it to. I'm just gonna let it soak for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a bit and see how it goes. And we have a nice, fresh and clean gray water system back in place. Let me tell you, it is extremely hard to keep a bathroom white when you're traveling. I'd like to get it back to at least somewhat white. <laughs> That's the goal right now. Here we go. It's not 100%, but you know what? It's looking good. It's looking real good. So the bathroom is done. The kitchen is done. Bedroom is done. The lounge is done. The front is done. It's looking really good in here. It's looking like it hasn't in a long time, if I'm being honest. 
last moment of truth, we're gonna get back to that pee jog. Oh. Ugh, God. Um, maybe I just need to let it soak longer. Like maybe I'll let it soak overnight. That's probably what I'll end up doing. We're gonna empty it out, get the toilet back in the bus, and we'll have a nice clean bus once again. For now, it'll do the job. It'll keep it contained and it won't smell quite as bad, I don't think, next time I empty it out, if I empty it out <laughs> in a reasonable time. Here we go. Back in place. Oh, it feels great waking up in a nice, clean space. And that is about gonna wrap up this week's video. So I guess, see you guys next week. Peace.